This video explains how to draw multiple ggplot2 plots with consistent width using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create an example data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing and we can have a look at this data set by clicking on the data set and then a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our data frame contains one column containing values, a second column which contains the groups of our first plot and another column which contains groups for a second plot. Now if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 and after running this line of code we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geombar as you can see in lines 11 to 15 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm creating our first plot. So after running these lines of code, a new plot object called ggp1 is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that our plot contains three different bars corresponding to our groups A, B and C. Now we can draw a different plot using the code that you can see in lines 18 to 23. So in these lines of code, I'm using our second group column, group two, to draw our plot. So after running these lines of code, another plot is created at the bottom right, which contains the labels long A, long B, and long C. You can also see that the width of the plotting area is decreased because our labels are very large. So if we want to draw these two plots in a grid of plots, then we can use the cowplot package as you can see in the following lines of code starting in line 25. So in lines 25 and 26 I'm installing and loading the cowplot package. I have installed this package as well so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 26. And now we are able to use the plot grid function as you can see in lines 28 and 29 of the code. And within this function we need to specify our two plots that we want to draw, ggp1 and ggp2. So these two plot objects are the plot objects that we have created before. And then we also need to specify the number of columns of our grid of plots. So in this case I want to show our plots on top of each other. So for that reason I am just specifying the n call argument to be equal to 1. So if you run lines 28 and 29 of the code you can see that a new grid of plots is created. However, you can also see that the plot in the first row of our grid of plots is much wider because the legend on the right side of the plot is thinner. And the second plot is smaller because this plot contains our long labels. So let's assume that we want to harmonize the width of these two plotting areas. Then we can use the plot grid function once again as we did in the example before. However, this time we also specify the align argument to be equal to the character v. So if you run lines 31 to 33 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated and now the plot at the top has the same width as the plot at the bottom. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.